This was the front page of today's Kentucky Inquirer. Uh, up at the top of the page there you see, my fault, Senator Paul says of plagiarism. This was the front page of today's Lexington Herald Leader newspaper. Paul to retool office after plagiarism charges. He's hopeful, quote, it will make people leave me the hell alone. This was the front page of the Courier Journal in Louisville, Kentucky. Paul admits his plagiarism, quote, is my fault. And that front page story on the front page of the Courier Journal, that was nothing compared to what the paper had to say inside on the editorial page. Today, the Courier Journal published this scathing editorial. Recent news accounts make it clear that Senator Paul has made a habit out of using without attribution other people's words, thoughts, and ideas. His reaction so far has not been to plead guilty and beg forgiveness. That's not his style. He's instead claimed to be the victim of a witch hunt by hacks and haters. He says he takes it as an insult that people would accuse him of being dishonest, misleading, or misrepresenting. I have never intentionally done so. The real insult here, insult here the paper says, uh, is that Mr. Paul would expect voters to believe his half-baked, nutty explanations. The real insult is that he would expect us to believe he's not at fault and that this is the result of partisan opponents. But the biggest insult of all is that he would use a writer's or researcher's words, claim them as his own, and expect everyone to look away when he gets caught. The terrible hometown press that Rand Paul is getting right now might explain why the senator is kind of melting down over this issue. Now it has come to the point where he is threatening to quit and leave politics altogether unless people stop criticizing him over his plagiarism, problem, uh, plagiarism problems uh, and reporting on them, presumably. Uh, Senator Paul told the New York Times, quote, to tell you the truth, people can think what they want. I can go back to being a doctor anytime. If they're tired of me, I'll go back to being a doctor and I'll be perfectly content. Senator Paul, uh, who the Times described as drawn and clearly shaken during their interview with him, continued, quote, what we are going to do from here forward, if it will make people leave me the hell alone, is we're going to do them like college papers. We're going to try to put out footnotes. Senator Paul followed up that exasperated, emotional, sweary interview with the Times yesterday uh, with another one today with the National Review. Senator Paul is described by his interview at the NRO as, quote, furious, and he says to his interviewer, quote, it annoys the hell out of me. I feel like if I could just go to detention after school for a couple days, then everything would be okay. But do I have to be in detention for the rest of my career? One thing that is maybe underappreciated about this stressful episode for Senator Paul is that it is happening for him at a key time in his career. Politico reported today that he recently met with both Rupert Murdoch, the chairman of News Corp, uh, and Roger Ailes, the head of the Fox News Channel, obviously two of the kingmakers who you need to be on your side if you're a Republican running for president. For Republicans who are trying to make that kind of a run, this is the time when these guys are trying to establish themselves as viable candidates, as serious candidates. And in the middle of all of this, Rand Paul is all but breaking down in these interviews about these ongoing plagiarism revelations. Not only can he apparently not handle the rigors of the difficult workload of being a freshman senator, which was his, his excuse for plagiarizing an article for an op-ed, not only can he not handle the workload of being a senator, he apparently can't handle criticism of things he has done wrong. Plagiarism has forced other people out of political races in the past, like Joe Biden in the 80s. But in this case, Rand Paul says that he might not even make it to the race for president. He's now threatening to quit even being a senator right now because he cannot take the heat. He cannot take the criticism. Senator Paul is clearly under a lot of pressure right now. Uh, this is a key moment for him in his political future. But if this is the way that he handles pressure, that is probably a good thing to know about him now. It is probably better that we learn that fact about him now rather than sometime in the future. Because today is a day that ends in Y, that means there is another Rand Paul plagiarism revelation in the news. Look, more instances of plagiarism in Rand Paul's book. That was the headline at BuzzFeed today. Andrew Kaczynski detailing four more instances of material lifted from other sources in Rand Paul's latest book, which is called Government Bullies. As this plagiarism scandal continues to unfurl, still, even now, and as the senator continues to publicly unravel over this scandal, We've been trying to focus on his local standing back home in Kentucky, because Senator Paul is not just a national figure who wants to be president. He also has a day job in the meantime as a senator from Kentucky. The local press reaction to what he's done and how he's responded since getting caught for it, it had been really bad already before today. 
But today it got much worse. This is the Herald Leader newspaper out of Lexington, Kentucky, which is Kentucky's second largest city. The Herald Leader endorsed Rand Paul in his Republican primary back in 2010. But this is what they wrote about him today. Quote, it's hard to know where to start with Senator Rand Paul's reaction to legitimate criticism of his repeated plagiarism of other authors. Paul said he accepted responsibility and then went on quickly to slough it off, laying it on his rapid ascent to national prominence, which he sought relentlessly, on his staff, whom he hired, and finally, of course, on the haters, who just want to bring the great man down. Senator Paul appears to believe profoundly in his own exceptionalism, including that the rules do not apply to him. The Herald Leader takes particular exception with something that Senator Paul said this week to the New York Times, uh, that him facing this criticism, quote, is what people hate about politics. And it's why, frankly, members of my family, he said, are not too interested in politics, period, or in wanting me to do more of this. To tell you the truth, people can think what they want. I can go back to being a doctor anytime if they're tired of me. I'll go back to being a doctor and I'll be perfectly content. That's what Senator Paul told the New York Times. But here is how that comment's being received back home in Lexington, Kentucky. Listen to this. Senator Paul's sense of self-grandeur is so great that like a pouting child, he threatened to leave politics altogether if everyone keeps being mean to him. People can think what they want. I can go back to being a doctor at any time, he said. If he can't do any better than this when the heat is on, even those who were Paul lovers might be ready to say, okay, go. Again, that is Senator Paul's hometown press, a newspaper that endorsed his candidacy during the Republican primary. A lot has been said and written over the last couple of weeks about what these plagiarism revelations will mean for Senator Paul's national ambitions. What does it mean for 2016? It seems like Senator Paul may actually have a more immediate concern than that. His hometown press is saying, OK, go. And they are not talking about the band. And they are not talking about him running for the presidency. They are talking about his senatorship which maybe is on the rocks here. Watch this space.